Hello, this is not a spring chick, and I've been sitting here listening to the news this morning, and all I can say is, does the government have to get into what we're eating? Okay, whether it's Hostess Twinkies, or actually, well, the Twinkies, Hostess Twinkies, and then filing for Chapter 11, and, well, they may be closing down because of the unions, or is it because you can't even eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches at school if you bring your own lunch, because they're apparently taking it away from kids because... Oh, some kids may have allergies to peanuts. Oh my gosh, can you just stay out of my food? Anyway, well for now we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. I think we should go get peanut butter. Oh yeah. Um, so anyway, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, what is this oh, coming yeah, to? Oh yeah, because the, the, the Obama, okay, it's one of those things in Obamacare that basically it's all about preventative medicine. Somebody in the school might be allergic to something, so if they might be allergic, in order to keep them from might having an effect, you do away with anything such as seizing something out of a kid's mouth. That's disgusting. Well, it's the whole thing is disgusting. They said that what happened is now, parents are pushing back against it because they said uh, the ban is not had nothing to do with kids bringing stuff to school. It's what can be served. So what they did when they confiscated it, they basically illegally seized something that a kid had. And now uh, they're trying to work out, uh, they're trying to kill the criminal charges against the school system for doing, it was grand, it was theft. They said, I mean, they said, well, we, we bought him lunch and made up for what happened. It said it was in... It, what was done was wrong, and the kids should not have had it taken from him. But we have to do it because, you know, there's a couple of kids in the school that are allergic. The, the, the parents said, did he? Actually, what happened was one of the people said, well, if they happen to see the president and his family eating peanut butter, which they love, they're going to tell the president where his, him and his kids can put it. Well, I'm just, like, totally disgusted from that because, for example, okay, first of all, I'd like them to stay on my lunch. For example, if you have milk, some people are allergic to dairy. Well, it's all going to be but gone. But then there's some people that need dairy. The dairy products are off the list now, too. Only things that will be approved by Obamacare will be allowed to be served in schools now. And uh, basically, it means uh, rabbit food. I can guarantee you, the press will not eat rabbit food. If you give them rabbit food and that's all they have, they won't eat it. We no. have seen them at press events. They will not eat salads, folks. And Secretary Clinton called anti-Islam video disgusting and... Well, there seemed to be a bit of a problem with that in that the guy that did it, the one that they've actually really... There are two sets of people, one that the government says is involved and one that the press has backtracked it to. Government says it's to a guy that basically is anti-Islamic. The press has found that, that it's a guy, it's, a, it's an Egyptian-American who got the money to make the project from Egypt. What? Uh -huh, which basically, there is a difference of opinion. Basically, it looks like the Obama administration is trying to use it to fuel anti-American settlement before the election so he can look presidential. Unfortunately, uh, okay, this is basically uh, one of the, I like, a lot of the left comics are far better than the right comics about going after things. They find it's ridiculous. They said that uh, when the President of the United, one of the comics the other day was talking about, he said when the President of the United States uh, heard that the embassies were under siege. He was talking with Ahmed Dinejad about selling out the Jews. And he said that the president is dancing on the top of his table with Ahmed Dinejad, and Ahmed Dinejad gets, uh, he gets a phone call, and he says, Mama, baby, we got problems. And he said, what? And he said, well, they just killed four people over in Libya. And then the president I said, oh, crap. Mm -hmm. And then the dancing all stopped. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, he said, at least we know that if, 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 if Romney had been in that situation, he'd have never been dancing. He'd have probably been just as happy but never been dancing. Because yeah, but see, here's the, oh, here's the part I don't understand. That's why, well, anyway, about this anti-American sentiment. I, I, I don't think that helps the president. Oh, it basically, they're <laughs> saying that hurts the president. His, his left-wing press, oh, this is, this is inexcusable. They saw, they got, here, okay. You know what the difference between people my age in the press and the people of the press today is? What? Well, the people of my age may have conspired to sink a political candidate. They'd have never done it on an open mic. <laughs> they had the people, they've had the people on open mic talking about how they were going to bury Romney for the president. What? Yeah, it's on, it's basically recorded for the universe to hear. 
uh, and uh, it's just we were smart enough to, you know, okay, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll use Rex's brother because I can't find Rex. Uh, uh, this is what they would have done. Mm -hmm. They'd have put a hand over the thing. Yes. So, and then when you're talking, it doesn't make any difference what camera is on you. Your hand is over the microphone. Today, they just. Well, they don't seem to realize that they're on mics because they're asking questions. Mm -hmm. They're not very bright today. So, okay, um, we did a thing. Um, here's a deal from Mark Twain. Mark Twain said, if you say the same stupid thing enough times, people are going to think you're stupid. Mm -hmm. And Paul Ryan's in the house, but available by appointment only. Well, yeah, because he's basically, he's trying to do his job and run, okay, what it is, he's running for vice president and for his office in Wisconsin at the same time, plus working at the house, and and, uh, and basically he's the one that has a lot of work. Romney is Romney has no job, mm -hmm. so Romney is Romney is a tired coach. He's pushing seventy and he's retired. Mm -hmm. And October surprise comes early this campaign. Yeah, because that's what generally sinks a candidate. Okay, I'm going to tell you, most of the people said that this is, this is, okay, you, what you don't want to be compared with is Jimmy Carter. And they said this is Obama's Jimmy Carter moment. They know what he's going to do different than um, Carter. He's going to attack somebody. And when he attacks somebody, they're going to simply say, wag the dog. Uh -huh. Because everyone has been predicting he was going to force uh, military action before the election to save his presidency. Because we ha we don't tend to remove people during the middle of a war. Well, if the president started the war just so that he could stay in office, then not only remove him, if he loses the Senate, which is the, the whole campaign that we're going to keep telling people, the campaign is 50 plus 1. If the Democrats hold 50 seats and have one extra, Obama stays president. If the re Democrats lose the Senate, Obama, go, Obama is going to jail. That's that simple. That's what they say. He's going to a jail cell for the things he's done in this country. Everything he's done is illegal. Everything. But he's doing it for the good of the country. And Fannin bold, open-ended steps to aid the economy. Yeah. Um, and this is another one. Uh, I love it. another one of comedians. He, he said, uh, we got Bernanke making his speech, telling him he'll do whatever we have to do to save the economy. He said, we're, you know, we're putting up 140, and then he turns to his side, and the President of the United States, oh, we're putting up $160 billion to save the President. Oh, uh -huh. forget that last part. Uh-huh. Yeah. An agreement near in Chicago, teacher strike, the union. Uh, supposedly, it looks like the President of the United States is interceding and going to give the city of Chicago all the billions it needs what? to pay the teachers union because see, Obama basically is pro-union. Yeah, but see, here's the problem with that. Guess what that encourages all these other teachers. They're all going to do to say, oh, they're doing it. We know, for instance, Hostess Twinkie is going out at the company. The Hostess company is getting ready to shut down because unions are demanding pay increases when the company is going bankrupt. They're wanting their wages increased in a down economy. I mean, uh, it, it, because this guy, the, the person that has been running the company now is known to simply shut the companies down rather than to be forced into giving people wage increases. Mm -hmm. You don't get a wage increase in a company. They said, well, the market is up. Well, there's a reason the market is up. One of the reasons is today uh, they're removing Kraft's food from the, um, from the, Dow, 30 the Dow 30 because Kraft's food is heavily in the peanut butter and other things that the President of the United States doesn't approve of. Oh, that is horrible. Yeah, they're putting in an insurance company, though, and Moody's just downrated the insurance company the negative that they're putting in to replace Kraft, who has a who has a prof, has a big. They're really good over there, but um, and they make money. and we did finally find out who was responsible for the Muslim problem. It was George Bush and the Republicans. I know that and you believe that they said, well, the President of the United States is having to deal with the problems that George Bush and the Republicans have given him. And they pointed out, they met a Democrat last night, where Newsman, George Bush is not president. But George Bush and the Republicans, he's not the president. George Bush and the Republicans, I mean, all you hear from the supporters of the president, I say, says, well, George, okay, we understand that the dinosaurs died because of George Bush and the Republicans. We understood that Christ was crucified because of George Bush and the Republicans. We understand that the Black Plague was George Bush and the Republicans' fault. Mm-hmm. And a Monty Bubbles from the Mark Twain of the, the Animal Kingdom. Okay. 
it, there comes a time when even the brightest person cannot people make people believe lies.